A video plan of mine fell through today, so I thought I'd come outside for the first time in three weeks. It's like springtime here. I forgot that, and I just felt like, you know, coming out here to take a nice whiff of the growing grass and daffodils and maybe a hint of COVID. But in all seriousness, I was about to plan a video for tomorrow on a keyboard case I had ordered off of Amazon with a trackpad for iPad Pro third gen, but you know, still since the fourth and the third gen are so similar, they're probably gonna make a case for the fourth gen, so. Ugh. Long story short, as I began to use it and use the trackpad in particular, I was just wholeheartedly disappointed. And I'm sure you can see the leaves here. That's kind of distracting. I forgot to rake them in the fall and now I have to finish the job now, so. Woo. So instead of going to a great length to create a high quality video and post it at, you know, midnight, I just wanted to shoot this quick video and kind of warn you why you shouldn't buy these trackpad plus keyboard cases off of Amazon for around like 75 to 80 bucks for your iPad Pro third or fourth gen. But of course, before we continue, I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions as the YouTube algorithm likes that and will help push my content to more people. And if you are a recurring viewer, be sure to click the bell icon and enable all notifications. The sun is setting, the birds are still chirping, and here's this sea of leaves once again. That is a direct result of me prioritizing fall content over yard work, so I'm a great son. Anyway, we have this iPad case here on the swing that is just majestically swaying back and forth. But yeah, I'm not even going to say what brand this is because I don't want to give them a bad rep because I'm sure they make a number of other great products, but this just isn't one of them. And I think it does reflect a lot of other similar cases on the market because let's just face it, in the world of Amazon, you know, like cheaper kind of third-party products, they're all coming from the same supplier. They're all going to have the same sort of technology in here, which is what I'm about to warn you about. So this case... If it was like 30 bucks, I'd be like, yeah, this is great. You have a decent keyboard here. There's an RGB aspect. You have media controls. It has decent travel, you know, it's nicely sized. It's a great case if it was like $30, but you get this trackpad and this is what you're paying a premium for, right? And I expected some nice like multi-touch experience, but I was naive because that is definitely not the case. Of course, the trackpad does work to an extent. You can drag the cursor around just fine. I mean, the surface doesn't feel that bad. It's nice and clicky. It's not the best trackpad ever, but it works. Of course, you can like click on apps and stuff just fine, but when you get into trouble is when you try to scroll. So I'm gonna take two fingers and scroll here and it's just, Ugh, it's just not good. So if I try to like scroll on the home screen, as you can see, it's just like, look at that. Like I can't, there's no way to get it to be smooth. So I like, I just go like this and it's just not working well. Not anything like, you know, like the trackpad experience you would have um, with like the new Magic Trackpad, for example. And this is the exact problem I ran into with my 10 year old trackpad. There's just something about this older tech that's in here that just isn't compatible with Apple software. Maybe Apple, uh, you know, like made some kind of software inhibitor, like program function, whatever that, you know, of course is gonna make you buy the newer generation trackpads, but it's just not working. If I go into Spotify, for example, of course I can navigate through here with this cursor, just fine, I can click. And if I want to scroll through music, it's just super choppy. And I mean, maybe you're like, well, it's 80 bucks, man. Like, what do you expect? You're not paying 229 for like the bridge or 300, like the magic trackpad case. Maybe I should be happy because I'm paying like a third or half of the cost of those higher quality cases. But I don't know. I just don't think that this is worth having this sort of half-assed trackpad experience. It's just not good. Let's open up like Safari, for example, and scroll through, I don't know, a website here. The scrolling is just not good. It's just, of course you can like, you know, highlight text and that's nice, you know, maybe if you want that, maybe, maybe if that feature is important to you, then you might want to spend 80 bucks in this case. But like, for example, I can't like do any of the multi-touch. Thank you for that. I can't do any of the multi-touch gestures, which make the iPad Pro trackpad experience so nice. So that's totally absent. So basically what you're paying for here is a pretty cheap, you know, sort of lopsided keyboard case because this is really light plastic. And of course the 12.9 inch iPad Pro or the 11 inch iPad Pro, if you get it in that variant is really heavy. So when you have it in your lap, it feels like it's about to fall over. And then of course you're paying for basically a pointer, a cheap mouse, right? That's what you're getting here. Um, and if that's what you want, then by all means, buy this case. You're gonna save a lot of money if that's what you want. But if you are expecting a nice, you know, multi-touch gesture-based experience for a third or half of the cost of a higher quality case like Bridge or the Magic Keyboard case coming in May, hopefully, 
this ain't it chief this is not it at all i was disappointed i don't even think it's worth paying 80 bucks for this so my recommendation for right now if you are in the need for a keyboard case with a trackpad wait for something better wait for the bridge to start shipping in mid-april wait for the magic keyboard case or wait for a cheaper competitor that isn't off amazon and i'm not saying like amazon will never carry one but as of right now the ones that you're seeing for around 75 to 80 bucks are just not what you expect them to be. So that has been my spiel. And no, I don't plan on shooting stuff like this all the time unless you want me to. And even then I wouldn't want to overdo it because this is like a case where I just couldn't justify sitting there and being like, oh, I'm gonna get great B-roll and get great A-roll and make the sound quality all nice and everything and spend time, you know, coming up with some witty ass intro to tell you that a product sucks, right? So this is more of a direct message to you guys who I know are into iPad Pro and are probably looking for a cheaper keyboard case like I did. I mean, I found it. I thought I was going to be happy with it, but no, it's not good. Don't fall for it and just wait. I will let you know if I find anything that is cheap and, you know, worthwhile. That's kind of my job. I'm supposed to spend money. People are like, oh, you should have waited for the magic keyboard case when I made my video about the smart magic or the smart keyboard folio. I can't even remember the name of it. And I'm just like, bro, I'm going to buy the magic keyboard case. I'm going to buy the Logitech case. I'm going to buy the bridge. You know, I'm going to buy everything that you shouldn't buy and talk about it, right? That's my job. I'm here to take the risk for you. So yeah, I'm going to stop talking. The sun is setting. I'm about to edit this video for you guys real quick and hopefully get it to you at a decent hour hopefully this message is well received as well i would definitely want to hear it if i was looking for this kind of accessory and yeah i hope you're well i hope you're safe and i hope you're staying at home and still abiding by the social distancing practices recommended by who and the cdc and everybody um i think we're getting out of this i think we're going to see the peak sometime soon people are dying it is sad but i think we're getting through this just fine and i'm proud of everything you know the world has done so far i think we've had a lot of you know awesome collaborative effort even in my country which is very partisan and divided and I'm just trying to stay positive, you know, and of course provide you with content. It keeps me sane, that's for sure. But of course, it's nice to get out of the house for a damn minute. You know, I've been inside for so long, but don't worry about me. I'm, you know, talking to my friends and I'm, you know, talking to you guys. You guys really helped me get through this, you know, difficult time. And yeah, that's about it. That's all I got for you guys. So other than that, I'm Noah and I will catch you all in the next one.